can purchase the 405 with heart rate monitor included or buy it without and use it with a heart rate monitor from a previous 4Runner model. First you'll have to pair the 4Runner 405 with the heart rate monitor. Wet the sensors on the back of the heart rate monitor. Then place on your chest and fasten the strap. While pairing your heart rate monitor with your 4Runner, move about 40 feet away from any other heart rate monitors or AMP Plus sport devices that don't belong to you. In other words, don't try to pair your 4Runner at the starting line of your next race. When you use 4Runner for the first time, the setup wizard will ask if you're using a heart rate monitor and step you through the process. If you didn't get the heart rate monitor paired through the setup wizard, press and hold menu, then go to settings, AMP Plus sport, accessories, heart rate monitor. Select Enabled, and then set to Yes. Once they are paired, 4Runner will display a message saying, Heart Rate Monitor Detected. The next time you use 4Runner, it will automatically detect your heart rate monitor. But if your heart rate data isn't showing up on 4Runner 405, or if you're getting wild data, check out your owner's manual or Garmin.com for troubleshooting tips, or you can try pairing them again. If you change the battery in the heart rate monitor strap, you'll have to select Rescan from the heart rate monitor setting page. To set your max heart rate in 4Runner, Go to Menu, Settings, User Profile, then Max Heart Rate. You can use a general formula like 220 minus your age, or enter your exact max if you've done a VO2 test to determine it. You can also enter your age in the User Profile or enter your resting heart rate. Your five heart rate zones in Forerunner will be based on the max heart rate you entered. You can also customize your heart rate zones in your User Profile of Garmin Connect and transfer to your Forerunner. You know those warnings you see on fitness equipment at the gym? Well here's Jake's version, only shorter. Check with your doctor before you start any workout program or if you have any questions about your heart rate targets.